going on, everybody? Cinder Mars doing a live stream today. Heck yeah, super pumped. Um, yeah, very random one for you today. Um, I was a big, big fan, obviously, of Pokemon growing up. Still a big fan now that I'm adult. Um, and the TCG, the trading card game, was always one of my favorite things as a, a kid, especially the Game Boy version of that. Um, it was tons of fun. I've played it many, many times, but now the uh, newest TCG that's out there, the latest one, I should say, um, is really, really good. I've really been enjoying it. It's been on mobile for a little while now, um, probably for like the past year. And I'll play it here and there, um, but on PC, it's a ton of fun to play. So today, we're actually just going to play some versus mode uh, on Pokemon TCG. So not a Zelda video, but still, like I said, we're going to broaden our horizon slowly but surely as we... Uh, go throughout time together. So, without further ado, TCG Pokemon versus mode. Let's go. All right. So, um there's a bunch of theme decks that I have. I stick to a few main ones, mainly those being Sword Storm with Drag. I call it the Dragonite deck uh, for obvious reasons. Uh Laser Focus, which is another very good deck, but this new Charizard theme deck uh, that's came out recently. Um, really been liking it. So I think we're going to roll with that today. I've, as you can see, I've been playing a bunch of mobile today. So I'm already up this far on the versus ladder reward. Then we'll move to this one and to this one. Who knows? Soon, depending upon how long we play. So without further ado, let's select our first victim. Let's see what we find. We shall see. Who are you? Oh, you. Ant CV. The old coin flip. Alright. Didn't win the coin flip. It's all good. So, Yanma's a very good card for this deck, I've found. Um, its evolved form is very good. It also has U turn for both evolved forms. So, and plus that's the only basic card we got right off the bat, so we're gonna have to play it anyways. Um, sorry, give me one second here. Uh, yep, don't have any cards on my bench. So, weakness against grass, so can get this pretty quick. We're against a water deck, which is not ideal for a fire deck, but we do have Yanmas, which is the only thing that I think helps balance things a little bit here. Um, and you know what? I'm going to use this. So this will give uh, one Pokemon its attack a boost of 30, which doubled because of the uh, weakness against water. So, solid move to get the ooh, first prize card. All right, doing a lot of things here. So he evolved. We've got 90 health, wave splash, disarming voice. All right. So I gotta find more basic Pokemon, that's for sure. See, I don't want to discard my hand because these are pretty good Pokemon. Charmeleons are crucial. Obviously, we get some Charizard, so it's tough. Tough to. I'm going to be confused if I don't get an. Oh my god, he swapped? Why wouldn't he attack me? She attacked me. Doesn't make sense. Alright. Well, that works. Two basic Pokemon. Perfect. That's what we wanted. So, definitely want a Charmander. Definitely want a Lugia. It's awesome that Lugia is a basic Pokemon. Obviously pretty powerful, but you do have to dedicate some energies to it. Um, do I want to give you two? No, I don't really want to, to be honest. Decisions, decisions, people. All right, let's give it a try. We're gonna have to swap anyways. And that way I can use Collect for Charmander, or I could use Flare, but. Hmm. 
We'll see. We'll see what uh, Anti V has to say about it. Okay, you got yourself a nice little cloister there. I still have no idea why he retreated. No clue. Hmm. She. Sorry. He, she. Whoever you are, Antsy. Okay, now what do we want to do? <laughs> Definitely. Discard the top three cards of your deck. That is a byproduct of using Raging Flame. Is it worth it? Hmm. Why not? Why not roll the dice? Hopefully we don't lose anything good. Alright, couple energies. That's not bad in a pseudo voodoo, I'm pretty sure. So that's not good. Reveal the Pokemon. Okay. So yeah, we need a we need a Zard. We need that Zard right now. Oh, you know what? He's gonna kill me with one hit, isn't he? Uses disarming voice. Okay. Uh, yep. Or wave splash. Either one. Damn. That's quite unfortunate. Okay. Combo trifecta we need there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Send out Lugia, why not? Lugia can at least take a hit. It's not weak. That's unfortunate, but it's all good because he doesn't have any other Pokemon really ready on his bench, her bench, their bench, their bench. Um, uh, I don't like that freaking Golduck. Don't like him one bit. Where's all my slugmas? Can I do get a slugma? Ah, now we got a Zard on the field. Now I'm feeling a little better. But we'll see. Ooh, another Charizard. Type doesn't matter. My Charizard is superior. Ha! And Nancy V knew it. We continue the streak. It's a good deck. I like this new Charizard deck. Definitely. Oh my God! All so many coins. Put five evolution cards into play. Evolution cards. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
I don't really want to do that. Say, do I even have a deck? Choose a new daily. Yeah, I guess I'll do... Water. Water will probably be easier. Alright, so we kind of got to do that challenge now. Um, ooh, but we unlocked a pack. What up, pack? So, what decks do we have for water? I know I have this. Which is a good deck, but I, I think that's really the only deck. Yeah, so put five water evolution cards into play. All right, so that's what we gotta do. So that we'll use that water deck this round. Uh, but first, let's open that pack we got. Big bucks, no whammies, give me something good. Come on. Ooh, a superior. That's cool. And a dark right EX. Oh snap! It's actually pretty cool. Okay, without further ado. Water evolutions, that is the challenge we are up to. So let's do it. I like this deck. Before this is actually one of the first decks I think I ever started using in this TCG. This form of TCG, I should say. Um, I might eventually, because I can emulate it, the uh, old school Game Boy TCG. I might do that at some point. I say that for so many things, though. So, I'm throwing Dudo out there as a distraction, because I want to get my Magic Herbs evolved. It's usually my strategy. Nine times out of ten. I mean, depending upon, obviously, what kind of deck you're playing up against and what your first card you draw and stuff like that. But I like to throw out my first starter as more or less a decoy just to kind of get a feel for what they are setting up and to set up any cards I have on my bench. Uh, we like to draw a card? Yes, I have. Draw a card. So two bonus cards off rip. So that's unfortunate for him, but... Pretty strong Pokemon just to like, get and throw out. <laughs> Alright, haven't played this deck in a long time. Draw a card for each of your opponents benched basic Pokemon. Okay. Okay, well, we are we don't have a water shortage. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, for now. Just chip chip away at this HP. Damn, he's gonna be able to one hit me. That's quite unfortunate. Things are not looking looking strong. Apparently. Yep, that's it. Only need to get one hit, not two hits. Uh, this might be a uh, this might be a rip run. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah, so, it doesn't really matter. This is pretty much a rip run. So if he gets one heads, then I'm done. There it is. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. Love it so much. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just kind of get a shit draw. Shit roll the dice. All right. Try this again. <coughs> Man. That's the way she goes. That's the way she goes. Oh, great. I might, this might be the same person. M Manny too cold. You are too cold, Manny. Uh... I hope the same thing doesn't happen again, because if so, I'm not going to keep using this water deck. <laughs> okay. Cool.
Come on now. Alright. <laughs> See how it goes. No bench Pokemon is kind of scary. But... Come on, man, it's too cold. Cold as ice. Cold as ice, Manny. Not my weakness. Alright, dive ball. Cool. Cool with it. Um. You know. For the sake. Sake of the match. Come on, Lapras. eventually evolve a water Pokemon. looking good there bud definitely not looking good there come on man he's too cold cold as ice bud Come on now. Come on, man, it's too cold. Do your worst, man. Just do something, because I ain't sitting here for 23 minutes. <laughs> okay, man, it's too cold. I see how it is. See how it is. But... Come on now. You're killing me, Manny. You're too cold. <laughs> oh, finally. Sweet Jay. Oh, Manny, too cold. Why? We won, but that didn't really help our cause much. So many coins, so many things to buy. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna go for my challenge right now. I gonna hit him with the old Soren Storm. That's what I'm feeling. This was my main theme deck I was using for a while. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Dude, I never win coin flips. <laughs> like ever. Ever, ever. Oh boy. The old thunderous. Oh, he's using this new fan fan dangled Charizard deck. Fortunately, I know kind of how it already works, so. Hopefully that gives us somewhat of an advantage. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, always take that extra card. 
Oh, that's not. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna say goodbye to my Pidgeot. And I'm gonna say hello to my Tornadus. All right. So, if he doesn't put a Pokemon on his bench, we win. That is a fact. And he put one. That's all good. Better have more than that. Because we're coming at him hot with this Tornadus combo. Tornadus Thunderous combo. Smart. Just to be that guy. Gonna grab two more. <laughs> I love using this deck because if you can do power plays like this, it immediately you start seeing your opponent's bench and it gets slightly more intimidating, realizing, oh. I have four of these to deal with. So, now that we have these four, which is the main four cards I basically use, now all we're trying to do is get as many Dragonites as our bench can hold now. So, obviously with what we pull and what we get for prize prizes, <clears throat> that's just going to help us move our energy cards around. It's usually uh, the technique. That I found work the best for this deck. This deck's definitely OP. <laughs> I think, in my opinion. I definitely think it's a little OP, but hey, who am I? Who am I not to use an OP deck? If I get one more lightning energy, that would be useful, because then Raging Thunder comes into play. But you start hurting your own Pokemon cards, which I don't always like doing. It's only 40 damage, but if you're gonna manage it, it isn't bad. He's building up his Yanmega for his 130 Cutting Wind, so that's another thing to think about. All right, didn't get a Lightning. Let's see if this gets a Lightning. Nope, nothing. All right, well, I am just gonna shuffle some stuff around then. Still over half his health, so. You know. Even if I had that lightning energy, we couldn't one hit him, so. Might as well save us the unnecessary damage cost. Yep, he's building them on up. That he is. He really, that, I'm telling you, this card is quite a good card. Very, very good. Stacking all that energy on it's tough at first, but. Built into the right deck that can feed energies to like bench Pokemon, this would be like, I would have a legit a deck with three of each of these every time. Trying to get that Charizard. Yeah, his Charizard's the only thing I'm worried about. All right. So, same thing. It's only gives us one other card, but might as well do it. All right. Lantern's not bad. So he might not be a bad one to have on the bench to eat some of the cost of this Raging Thunder. That's another thing, but you also don't want him to take a spot for a potential Dragonite. But we only have one Dragonite, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll throw down a Chin Chow. So he must not have enough energy for this guy. Oh man, 
you're gonna be upset when I destroy your Charmeleon before you have the chance to make the Charizard. Now he's got his second Omega. Yeah, he's going for the long play. He's going for the Omega play. Mateo. I see you, Mateo. Oh, yep. We got a Dragonair. We got a Chincho. We got our Electric Energy. So, time. We're going to give it to our Chincho. Time to say goodbye to your hopes of having that Charizard, bud. See, we got our second Dratini. So, that's the only thing about having Chincho on your bench is it does take up a spot for a Dragonite, but all good. All good in the hood. He's probably going to throw an energy on here. Probably going to knock out my Thunderous. Counter it with my second Thunderous. If he didn't get an energy card, I would be pissed. <laughs> like, like, that's truly, truly unfortunate. Oh, yeah, there he goes. All right, thank you, Thunderous. Thank you for your service. Thank you for getting his three prize cards. I will avenge you. I will avenge you, brother. Okie dokie. So we're gonna, wah, we're gonna, wah, wah, wah. Bam, 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 bam. Things are looking good. So he's also going to wipe out my Thunderous, which is okay. Totally fine. I am okay with this. Thought I could hit him with that Raging Thunder. But cool. So, you dead, bud. Uh, yeah. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna play the Lantern. You're probably like, why, Dan? Why play the lantern? He can attack. Oh. Oh. Maybe. It's because of uh, a Dragonite's effect. I am. So I can attach two energies. Oh, the mighty and. Yen Maga has fallen. So now let's get through the second one, and then he's basically, he's pretty much toast at this point, so. Sorry, Mateo. Sorry, Mateo, I didn't mean it. Didn't mean it, man. Yeah, I totally meant it. You're gonna die, clown. I'm just kidding, Mateo. You are not a clown. You are a form formidable opponent. Your cards just did not go your way. Smart, using the U-turn. So you can potentially save his Yan Mega. Okay, okay. I see the play you're going for. I see it. I do see it. Alright, so we are gonna attach, recycle, beautiful, use our effect, lightning strike, Perfect, so now our lantern is useless. So he can take our lantern from us and then we'll just hit him with the old razzle dazzle dragonite impact, dragon impact. Finish him off. 
Yep. He can already see the writing on the wall. I already see the writing on the wall. You know the how this is gonna end, Mateo. I don't wanna have to do it. But you're backing me into a corner. Oh no, lantern, why? Thank you, Breda. Thank you for your your services, Lantern. Alright. Game over. Thanks, Mateo. It's been real. Valiant effort, Mateo. But you are defeated. Alright, so far so good. Sorry, Mateo didn't make it. Almost there. Almost got to say a, a nine tails. That's a nine tails. All right, soaring storms. That's how I play that. No, why not? We'll we'll switch it to laser focus. This is my other main deck that I really like. Uh, mainly because there's two basic Pokemon that are very strong. So if you can get them on your bench, they take three energies apiece. If you can get them on your bench and get three energies on both of them. You're golden. Um, no, I don't like going first. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Two basic Pokemon. And you can get a specific card, which is nice. This is crucial mysterious treasure. That's how you get this Pokemon. Uh. Against this monkey. Yep, see, I knew. It's Maractus. Maractus painting the asses. Oh, bam. Necrozma. I couldn't think of his name. That's the move. That's the move we want to do right there. Just like chess. Gotta evaluate and make them. I, I like making people kind of show their strategy right off rip. And usually with this deck, I find the Maractus. Up front. Let's see. Alright, so we survived. So that's good. So that guarantees us a chance. Um, ooh, this is what we need. So if you have this special energy attached to Necrozma, he does 60 more damage with a special laser. So that's precisely what we need. I'm going to use this. Sacrifice this. And I like... Ah, oh, man. It's tough. And hopefully we get an ink Because I like Malamars. Malamars are dope too. Their ability is sweet. You can just take an energy card from your discard once per turn. Even if he's not out. Uh, and attached to a Pokemon. So I really like that. I like having a Malamar on my bench as well. If you can get a Malamar on your bench. And a Necrozma on your bench. It does not matter what really you have out in the field. Because, I mean, you're basically just using them to then throw in your super powerful, already souped up, ready to go Pokemon. And if you look at their bench, not nearly as stacked currently as the firepower right here. So, we'll take our special energy, throw it on here. And we solved the Maractus problem. Alright, and then whatever they play, we can beat. So now they, he, Guga, oh what up Guga95, didn't realize who I was playing. Guga, uh, now he doesn't have a strong bench at all. He's got nothing going on his bench. So every single one hit kill that Krasma's going to get, unless he gets the, the big old monkey with a drum, I can't remember his name, uh, 
Rillaboom? Is that really is that his name? Rillaboom? Or is that just the name of the theme deck? I don't know. Yeah. Uh he doesn't really have a chance. At this point. Unless something wild happens. Alright, yeah, so he's starting to starting to make some moves. He probably knows that this and the cottony are just more or less punching bags to hopefully get this thing powerful enough to then one hit Necrozma. But by the time that happens, I will have my other Necrozma ready and waiting. Ooh, double Tauros. Uh, Tauros are great basic Pokemon, obviously. No evolution needed. Man, I'm telling you, Necrozma is just such, he's such a devastating force. Yes, very OP. This is no, it's between this deck and the Dragonite deck. Probably the most OP. Simply because of these cards. Alright, so he's trying to build his bench up. Oh, there's his monkey man. Yeah, Rillaboom. I, I had no idea his name is Rillaboom. <laughs> when I played Sword and Shield, I did not pick him as my starter. I picked the the bunny, bunny guy, bunny nader, whatever his name is. Yep, there you go. All right. Sorry, Guga. Sorry, not sorry. Kudos to him for still trying. Seriously. I just want to see what his attack is. Uh, oh, come on. Come on. Flip a coin if his opponent shuffles their active Pokemon. Ah, that's actually pretty good. Active Pokemon and all its attack cards. Oh, yeah, give up. Ah, told you. Smart choice, Guga. Woo! We're smoking some boots. Smoking some boots. Tails, woo! We officially made it to our second hit here. A lonely Nine Tails GX, cool. All right, on to the second tier. You know what? I'm gonna keep rolling with my Necrozma. That's what we gonna do. Oh, what up, Tom Smith? Oh. Tom Smith. Tom doesn't even know. Tom has no idea. You have no idea, Tom. <sighs> Type no. Hey, we didn't even see a single one of him last match. He's good. His evolution's good. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. It's not like my main card that I use on this deck, but he's not bad. Other basic Pokemon. Yeah. Big old Papatamus. Papatus. Right. Yeah, not my favorite start. Not the worst. My weakness? That ain't cool. Take that, um, and to be honest with you, I don't really like the rest of these cards. So, let's shuffle them. Let's see what we got. Mm, all right, so we got this, got another type and all. Uh, I am indeed gonna use this. Uh, I wish I didn't pick that card, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we know that one of the Necrozmas is our prize cards. So at least we got one. Uh, yeah. I am take that, you hippo ass. I don't think I've ever faced this deck before. Hmm. Yeah, so I don't really know what to expect with this one. Ah! Oh! How dare you! 
How dare you prematurely take my necrozma out? That's very rude. Quite rude. Quite rude, sir. Okay, so you're gonna... Yeah, um... Yeah, that's real unfortunate. But... It's not the worst thing. It's certainly not the worst thing. We'll see how this bliss plays out. We shall see. Oh, d damn. I didn't even know this thing could freaking evolve. Hippodon. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Ugh. Holy shnikes, that thing's intimidating. Alright. Whew, what is the move right now? <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Yes, a U-turn. That's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Alright. So, I don't want to blow it with my Necrozma. That was a very good move of him. By him. By Tom, Mr. Tom Smith. But I'm going to use this U-turn be able to retreat with the cost of one. Which will bide me some time. Because I don't want to lose that Necrozma. So. Uh, not even a dent. Alright. Alright. This is getting a little rough. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is a little rough. Uh, what's this far-fetched even new? Meteor Assault. Yep, spiding our time. <laughs> Take the hitting, K, okay. and then we're gonna try and get another energy over to our boy Necrozma. It's gotta be a psychic energy too. Mm. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. This is certainly gonna be tough. This is a pretty nice deck he's got. Desperate measures. Okay, we got one. Thank goodness we got one. Okay. Man, that hippo done. An intimidating Pokemon. Alright. Ah, oh, you can just knock mine across my own, no problem. Alright, good. Dude, look at these Pokemon. Wild. Gut's telling me something. It is indeed telling me something. Wouldn't have mattered. Wouldn't have mattered. 
I was gonna say if I swap Necrozma out for a Type Null, just to save my Necrozma to deal with this dick, but can't really do that. So just gonna eat it. The good thing is these guys are all weak to psychic, so that might save me that second necrozma. That's what we needed, baby. Alright. Things are picking up here. Damn. So now he can't be touched. Tough one, Mr. Tom Smith. All right, value, valiant opponent. Aha. Now I think I got you. Now I think I got you right where I want you. Because I know I can get him. Wait. Oh, he's not weak. He's weak against grass. Oh. Damn. That's all right. Might be the end though. Uh, oh my god, staying alive somehow. Yeah, this deck is lacking in any kind of healing healing thing, you know. So what do I do? If I kill him. Yeah, I think he's got me. He's basically got me. Ah! 
comes out. Just gotta hit him with the thing. And then I think he's got me. Yep. Good match, Tom Smith. Very good match. Tip my tip my headphones to you. Alrighty. You know what? Let's give it give it one more good. Un. Yeah, one more. We'll do one more good match. Then we'll call it a uh, call it a night. Not bad though. Not too bad. Only lost a couple. Well, Dragonite. Told you. Always bet against me in coin flips. Having Grimer as your starting Pokemon is kick ass because you don't even need to give him an energy card and he can just use collect and get you two cards every turn. Get more face in the Charizard deck. Excellent. Yep, he's already trying to get his Zard ready. Okay, bud. Okay, okay, bud. See you. Give me all the cards. Oh, yep. I smell a Charizard. I smell a Charizard. Oh, yep. This dude's getting stacked up already. Yeah, this isn't looking too good. <laughs> oh, we got a Tornadus. So this is that. Uh, uh. Two tornadoes. All right, we're slowly but surely building our stuff over here too, bud. Don't count us out. You though, mm, the Eon Mega. I like it. Mmm, that. Mm. I don't like it. Mmm, I don't like what you're doing, Evil Lugia. I don't. Not a fan, bud. Putting a Pidgeotto on your bench is awesome because you can use airmail. You may look at the top two cards. Mm, yep, I'll take this. Use this guy. Ooh, yep. Getting prepped, prepped for the future, you know. This dude doesn't even know, dude. Doesn't even know what I have cooking up for. Him. 
Oh my god, I have 19 cards left in my deck. He has 34. <laughs> D Cuddy. Alright, so he oh yep. So he's been trying to get his Charizard. I'm trying to get my Dragonite. I just got my Dragonite, so. Gonna use my effect to get even more energies. Now I'm gonna evolve your ass. Pull on you. Evolve your ass. I'm gonna draw myself out of cards. Give him credit. All right, so I'm gonna throw one in here. Zard. I knew it was coming. All right, so I'm thinking retreat Grimer, throw out a Thunderous, knock out a Pseudo Wudo. He'll throw out either his Zard. He's definitely going to throw out his Zard. And then I will throw out my Pidgeot once he beats my Thunderous. That, I think, is the move. So, energy cards every. I'm spreading the love. Oh, I didn't swap them. I'm an idiot. I meant to swap them. Oh, well. The swap them is turn, I guess. <laughs> this is like been a stalemate with D. Cuddy. D. Cuddy won't budge. This is like two Metapods just head in like a hardened match right now. It's getting a second charge already. Yeah, we're both like. Look at the front lines right now. Look at the troops you have. See, see how this is gonna go. Oh, he's gonna be so butthurt when I hit him with the, the Pidgeot. When I spin storm his Charizard, just like the fury. I wish I could see his face. The pe like the blood will be boiling beneath the surface. Maybe I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. All right, we're making the move. We're finally making the moves. Yeah, gonna, yeah. Uh, treat. Ejecto Cedo, cuz. Raging Thunder! Alright. I made the first strike. So let's see how he counters. I believe he's gonna counter with his Charizard. Yep. He will knock out my Thunderous, and then I'm gonna... Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm gonna spin Storm. I'm so good. Oh, d Cuddy, you don't even know. Don't even know, d Cuddy. You're about to be so... I'm about to end your life. Oh! I would hate to be a member of d Cuddy's household right about now. Because some profan... Watch your profanities. The profanities are going to be real. Headsets are going to be thrown. Yep. Yep, it's going to happen. Oh, wow, he couldn't even kill me with a blaze. Wow, Charizard. Um, all right. So we probably won't get it this time. Still got seven cards to draw, I, and I can always hit it with this back into your deck. Just thinking things out right now. Uh, 
Thunderous! And actually not, so I'm not gonna spin Storm as Charizard. As, as much as I wanna spin Storm as Charizard. I already did 120 damage. Is he gonna swap it? Oh, is he gonna swap it? <laughs> okay. Okay, doke. Well, you know, you're weak against Thunder, so I'm just gonna have to kill ya. Sorry. We're really sorry. Um, so, if he's weak, then I don't even have to... I don't even have to use Raging Thunder. Alright, so, he's drawn out both my Thunderuses. He's... Oh, yeah, you're so done, dude. You're so done. And then I will have two, not one, but two dragonites waiting. See, he's got, I know, he, I know you got another, I know you got another Charizard in there somewhere, bud. I know you do. Uh, I know you do. So his Charizard must be a prize card. He hasn't been doing anything with Xeon Mega. I can't believe it. Just been focusing on these these Charizards. I really hope he does get this second Charizard, so then I can spin Storm. I can spin Storm that Charizard. So that's what we're we're hoping happens. We have. Uh, I'm almost out of cards in my deck. <laughs> um, Bye-bye, two Charizard. Very okay with this. And then sooner than later, I'm going to have to. So after I evolve him, I'm gonna use my Cynthia so that way I don't lose by default. <laughs> oh yeah, so he he doesn't know what he's doing now. Now he's on the run. Now he's on. Now he's on the hunt for that Zard. Oh, and he got that Zard. All right. I'm so happy we get to spin storm him still. Spin storm. Dan. All right. Rock paper scissors. Always scissors. You just you always scissors. <laughs> and scissors was it? You had to draw some more cards. Oh no, I'm asleep. No. No, no. Okay, bam. And you know what? We are gonna pull the old Razzle Dazzle. Oh, and look at all them cards returned to my deck. Cool. I am cool with this. Yeah! And damage all your bench Pokemon. Because we got Thunderous on the bench. What? Come on, D-Cuddy. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Oh, you know. You already know what I'm thinking. You already know what I'm thinking. We gonna get that Charizard. We gonna do it. We certainly gonna do it.
Hit him again. And all your bench Pokemon again. If he gets out of this, I'll be very impressed. But man, oh man, do I want him to play that Charizard next. Either one, honestly. If he plays either his Yanmega or his Charizard, but preferably his Charizard. Would be awesome. Sorry, D. Cuddy. Please play it. Yes, yes, please play your chair, sir. Alright, let's make a bet. If I spin storm his Charizard, will he quit? Will he just straight up quit? Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy I get to spin storm his Charizard. Ooh, baby. Moment of truth. Will he quit? Will he literally just admit defeat? What are you gonna do, bud? <laughs> what are you gonna do, D Cuddy? Ah, uh, he didn't quit. All right, good on you, D Cuddy. Good on you, bud. I was trying to troll you. Oh, and just like that, he's got his charge. Okay. All right, all right. Give you credit. You're not a quitter, D Cuddy. There's a will, there's a way, but unfortunately. Gonna be the end of the road right there, bud. So I tell you to suck on my Dragonite. All right, flawless victory. Ah, you've no idea how satisfied I am. I got to spend some of the Charizard for the victory. All right. Well, this has been fun. Might do more of these. Definitely might do more of these. Uh, hit me in the comments. Let me know if you ever want to freaking play. I'm down. <laughs> Just hit me up. Uh, yeah, and we'll do some more some more TCG stuff in the future. For sure. All right. Later, everybody.